Welcome to 5 Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce extended modifiers using present participles. You will recall that a relative clause is a type of subordinate clause that provides more information about the antecedent it modifies. In the sentence you see on the screen, der Junge, der mit seinem Hund läuft, schreit laut, the boy who runs with his dog yells loudly, the antecedent Junge, boy, is further modified by the relative clause, der mit seinem Hund läuft, who runs with his dog. The relative clause is connected to the antecedent by means of the relative pronoun der, who. You will also remember that a relative clause will be set off from the rest of the sentence by commas. As the relative clause is a type of subordinate clause, the third person singular present tense verb läuft, runs, comes in the final position at the end of the clause. When creating the extended modifier, we will change this verb into a present participle before inserting it into the extended modifier. As we will see in the coming slides, this step will be performed first. Also in the relative clause is the date of preposition mit, with, followed by the object of this preposition, seinem Hund, his dog. Both the preposition and its object form a date of prepositional phrase. As we will see in the coming slides, these secondary modifiers will be inserted into the extended modifier after we insert the present participle. When we form an extended modifier, what we are basically doing is inserting the relative clause before the noun it modifies to function as a type of adjective. Let's go ahead and form the extended modifier by first inserting the present participle. For the sake of clarity, I will temporarily exclude the date of prepositional phrase from the screen. To form a present participle, you simply take the verb in the relative clause, form its infinitive, and then attach a D suffix to the infinitive. This process creates the present participle shown here, laufend, running. When we insert the participle before the noun, it functions as an attributive adjective and needs an adjective ending. You will recall from your study of adjective endings that all adjectives following a definite article will be weak. Since der is a definite article signaling a masculine noun in the nominative case, we need to add e as a weak adjective ending. You may want to review adjective endings if you are having difficulties with this step. Now that we have inserted the present participle and applied the correct adjective endings, Let's go ahead and bring over the remaining secondary modifiers. Here the date of prepositional phrase mit seinem Hund, with his dog, is an adverbial modifier describing the manner in which the boy runs. We will need to place this directly before the present participle. It is very important to note that the strong adjective ending in the date of prepositional phrase remains the same even though the entire extended modifier is used to describe a masculine noun in the nominative case, Junge. Finally, there is one remaining verb, schreit, yells, and adverb, laut, loudly, for us to deal with. Although they are not included in the relative clause, they still describe activity performed by the subject of the sentence and therefore can be included as components in the extended modifier. I will follow the same steps as shown in the prior slides. First, I will bring over the present participle. To form the present participle, you simply take the conjugated verb, form its infinitive, and then attach a D suffix to the infinitive. This process creates the present participle shown here, schreiend, yelling. Since the participle now functions as an attributive adjective, I need to add the appropriate weak endings for a masculine noun in the nominative case. Once this is done, I can then bring over the adverb laut, loudly, and insert it before the participle it modifies. Both participial phrases can now be joined with the coordinating conjunction und, and. The five minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.